All right, welcome back our family. Today we'll be drawing over a thousand wavy checkers on nine pages of paper. Let's get started. My wonderful and amazing art family, we are back together again. Are you guys ready to draw the most amazing picture we've ever done on the channel? Look at this, with only four colors. So get your markers and your paper ready and we're about to draw something amazing. But before we start, I'm gonna put something fun in this video. I want you guys to see if you guys can guess what's going to happen. We're gonna do a guessing game. I did this once before, but I don't know, remember if you guys knew the answer to this. Uh, I have a five second clip of my cat, Leo, who likes to throw, throw punches. He throws jabs and uppercuts. This clip, he throws a punch. I want you guys to guess he throws either, he either throws a right hook, a left hook, or an uppercut. You guys try to guess what, what he's gonna throw in this five second clip. Uh, I'll show it right now. He's either gonna throw a left hook, or a right jab, he might even throw an uppercut. Oh, what was a left, oh, oh. All right, did you guys guess left hook? Well, if any of you guessed left hook, that's what he did. That thing that my wife was holding down by him, he doesn't like that and it scares him though, so he throws punches at it, so. Anyway, we're having just a little fun today. We're gonna start with a bowl on the paper. So get your, uh, just a, a, maybe a cereal bowl out and. Lay it down on your paper, try to center it right on the paper, and then you get your black marker. We've done this before. I think I've used this bowl before to make an emoji, but we're gonna use it for something really special today. The best drawing we've ever done on the channel, I promise you guys, it's gonna be amazing. All right, so follow along. You have your black Crayola marker, you got your bowl in your paper, and you're just gonna wanna just draw a circle. Just go around it, start circling around. Just a thin line this time. I think with the emoji, we tried to make a thick line, but this one you just, Make a thin line. If you don't get it just like you want, grab another piece of paper and try again. Let's take the bowl off and see what we got. Look at that. It's okay to use tools when you draw. Use a ruler or a bowl or some kind of stencils or something. Whatever makes it easier. I would say it's even okay to trace because if you trace lines, then you can paint them in. So just remember that, all right guys? So what we do is we've got our black marker. The uh, theme of this art channel is that at the end of the video, there's always a surprise ending. We, we show a giant abstract painting on the floor. This becomes, this one drawing is what we're doing together, but there's already eight other drawings done off to the side that we put together like a big abstract puzzle in the end. So make sure you stay till the end to be able to see that. All right, so we've got our circle done. Let me pull up my chair here. Now, before we get started also, guys, I'm gonna put a couple hidden things in this video this week. I wanna make this fun for you guys. So many of you are really enjoying this art and I, I just, it really warms my heart. I'm, I'm just so excited to be able to do this with you guys. I haven't made a dime. I haven't made a single penny from YouTube. So that shows you guys that I'm I'm just putting this heart in, in my heart into this. This is totally unconditional love right here, you guys. So, uh, all right, what we're gonna do now is just remember, Look for some hidden things in the video. So maybe like it's, you know, seven minutes, you might want to look around or eight minutes in, maybe stop the video and look because you're going to see some a couple of fun hidden things in today's video. All right, let's get started. We've got a circle made. We're going to lay the, you want to take the broad line marker this time now and you want to go for a thick line and you're just going to curve, curve and cross. That's all we're going to do to make this uh, wavy checkers marker ball. Let me make sure it's in the screen. So we're gonna go just like that. All I did was come across the paper that way, okay? And I'll show you why here in a minute. So then you wanna, you wanna go, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Let's see if we can get another line. Let me make sure you guys can see. I'm gonna come down just like that. And we're just kind of dividing the paper right now. So we'll do another one across the middle here. You don't wanna come across these lines. You're just kind of cutting up the paper here, so. See how I'm doing that? We're just dividing the paper. And uh, you can't go wrong with this. Just don't, try try not to cross your lines. It's not that complicated, you guys. You, I know you can do it. So we're just gonna do that, maybe connect it here. And uh, anything's, anything's good with this. I'm gonna, let's, let's put one line. Uh, let's put a line here. And maybe we'll do one here. I'm just kind of keeping it easy today. And maybe one this way. Okay, so there we go. That's all you have to do. So I just kind of divided the paper, but we didn't cross these lines, okay? All 
All right, so the next part is we're gonna put our wavy checkers on. So what you do is you go down to one of your spots and you just follow the line, the, the length, the line. So you're just gonna follow that, the direction of the line. See how that first line went that way? I'm just following it and then I'm gonna come across it. This is how you make wavy checkers. You just come across it. You want to lay the marker on its side. Make sure you're getting a thick line here because it'll be tons easier to color these in. If you have a thin line, you have more of a risk of going over the line. So again, we're just gonna, we'll do, let's go, let's go this way. We're gonna make it more of a, and you can kind of change your angle as you go. I just follow that. You, so you might have to practice this a couple times, but it really is forgiving. You guys will see, it's not that bad. So we're just doing that. And then this one here, we'll just come across, maybe go straight. I did cross on, you know, you make, you can't be perfect. So I got into that a little bit over there, but that's okay. We're just having fun. All right. So this is the fun first part of the, the drawing together, you guys. We're just crossing the lines. Well, I hope you guys have been doing great. Uh, you know, it's a crazy, crazy world out there. And uh, I know I say that in a lot of my videos. I think that's because I really am learning to be more grateful and I'm really learning to cherish uh, special moments in our lives. Take a deep breath of fresh air. You know, the way I see it, you know, Oh, my cats are hissing and fighting. We're having a, we're talking about peace and love and my cats are down here in a quarrel, a little battle. But uh, anyway, yeah, just take a deep breath of fresh air today and quit that, you guys. I don't know if you guys could hear that. We're talking about peace and love and these cats are not happy with each other. But anyway, I don't recommend if you guys are cat people, or dog people, it's just one thing about having one cat. I almost wish I would have always just bought one one cat or maybe just one dog instead of two or three because they fight so much. And there's, there's just so much more you have to do. I think I could just eat more easily live with just one cat, but uh, anyway, we're almost done already, guys. Crossing the lines. Just no big deal. Look at that. And this thing is, this whole thing is gonna take shape when we color it in, so don't worry. I know you can't really tell what it is. It just looks like a honeycomb right now, but there, look at that. Look how quickly we did that. Okay, well, next part kind of uh, takes a little time, so let's pull the markers in here. And uh, let's enjoy a nice little chat together. I, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I mentioned this on the channel before you guys, but you know, we're back to that cherishing all the moments of our life and just, you just never know, you know, you just never know when you might not see somebody again or it's just, I remember a couple times, I'm older now, you guys, so I know that I remember the day of when I last saw many of my friends, the last day I saw them, because I'm older and time moves on. So just cherish those moments together. All right, so here we go, guys. We're gonna start with a, this marker is called teal. It's a pretty dark green color like. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate coloring each and, a, each and every other square on the ball, just on the ball. We're not going outside the ball. We're just, one thing that makes it quicker is you only do in every other square. So let's start in. Let's start, why don't we start right here in the middle. We'll start with this one. We're just gonna... Oh man, there's a beautiful, you know what? I don't know how it happens, you guys. I don't know if it's an art thing for us. There's just a beautiful, just a nice downpour of rain going on outside my kitchen window right now. You know what? I think I'm gonna, I'll, I'll cut this video and I'll put a clip of what the rain's doing outside because I love it in there when it rains. So I might put a couple clips of rain on here for you guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing that rain. Sure is beautiful. I don't know, can you, can you hear it right now? I'm in my kitchen, I have the kitchen window open. Let's stop and listen for a second. I'll call her while we listen.
That is so beautiful. I hope you guys can hear that. I'm not too far from my kitchen window. I don't know if you guys have heard when the trains go by. I live really close to railroad tracks. Anyway, you guys, we're back to this using our green marker. And as you guys can see, we're just coloring it in. You guys, anybody can do this at home. That's what this whole channel is about, you know. I'm pr we're proving to the world that you don't have to have all this amazing skill, all this crazy skill to make amazing art. You can make amazing art. You don't have to go to even go to school. Just come here to Brent's Life Art and, and learn how to draw, right? We're breaking the law. Because everybody thinks you always have to have all this skill. You guys stick with this channel. I'm going to show you soon. I'm going to show you guys how to paint without a paintbrush. I'm going to show you guys how to make paintings. And you don't even have to know how to draw. Would that be a magical miracle or what? That's what I should call this channel, the Magical Miracle Art Channel. That's all about peace and love. Listen to that rain. We get a little bonus today, drawing in rain. Let me be quiet again for a second. So just keep going. You're wanting to color in every other uh, checker, every other one. Don't go outside the lot, the circle. It won't take us too long. But is and see since we have those big bold lines on there, you can't you don't color over. Another trick. Another maybe art hack that you've learned here at Brent's Life Art. Well, I'm getting to know some of you guys. And I just got to say, you guys are so full of love and peace and creativity and you guys are really fueling my fire for making art videos, telling me how much you love this stuff and let me tell you, we're not stopping anytime soon. The best is yet to come, my friends. So I just, now just be careful to watch that outside circle line. You don't want to go over that because I'll show you what what's going to happen next. But yeah, I was watching, a, I think I was getting onto a subject. I, I change subjects so fast when I'm chatting with you guys. There's so much to talk about. Um, but I was getting to, I've been watching these, uh, I'm not sure I can recall this correctly, but I've been watching these uh, near-death experiences. You guys, so amazing. Watch, if you guys get a chance and you're ever, I don't know if you're, I don't know, i am always been very sensitive. Uh, had a rough childhood, and as many of us do. Why does that have to happen when we're kids? I don't understand that. I'd like to, I don't know. I know God always has a plan, but some of our childhoods is so, so torn up. My parents were divorced. That's the day that happened, I put down a, I put down the baseball and picked up a pencil. Because I went from more extroverted to introverted real fast. Anyway, I was watching this thing about uh, near-death experiences. And, and uh, I was, since I'm such a sensitive person, since I've been through so much and I was always afraid of dying. I've suffered recently too. I have a illness. You guys might have known I mentioned it on here before. I have chronic fatigue syndrome. Many of you, if any of you guys are suffering, that's what this channel is all about is hope. You got to eating the right foods, staying positive. Just eat the right foods, stay positive. Meditate and pray. I always say slow your breath and slow your mind. You can heal. Don't give up hope. Stay optimistic. If any of you ever, if any of you are watching this, still watching this video, and you get sick in your life, don't go negative. Just go positive. You fight, fight it. You can heal. All right, we're, we're doing good. Look at this. We're almost done with the ball already. But anyway, this back to this near-death experiences thing. It just, I had such a fear of dying, and but now that I've suffered so bad, you know, I think, man, that, after hearing these near-death experiences, you think, man, what? it's such a relief. I mean, when someone dies that in these near-death experiences, they don't want to come back. They don't want to come back in their body because they're surrounded by such great love that 
they don't want to come back. They just want to stay, stay where they're at in a heavenly place. So helps me to not fear as much as I used to. Man, was I afraid of that. Still am, but yeah, this one guy, I was just watching his story. He, he was, he, he died and was gone for, he was dead for over an hour and he woke up inside a body bag. He, can you imagine that? And he was in heaven and he describes it and he wrote a book about it. If you get a chance to watch some of these, though, they're so inspiring. They make you feel great. It's like, what I like about it is a lot of them, you know, I know there's so many different religions and so many different beliefs and a lot of them say, you know, that there's no way to lose. It's just, just, uh, I just love the positivity in it all. So anyway, guys, uh, I think we can call this marker ball pretty much finished. It looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to color any more uh, parts of it. So we got the ball done. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it just like that. Look how cool that is. So. Balls. So we've already got... Of the four colors that we started with today, these two we're done with. So now all we have is our uh, pink and yellow. So that's all we got to do now is just color in the background. Like I said, you guys, I hope you guys enjoy these endings. I try to make a, these, uh, our videos have a really, like, a, I just, I don't know. I think drawing one, just doing one drawing at the table together is cool. But when you guys get to see it all put together as a painting in the end, I think it's more satisfying for you guys to have taken time and, you know, sat here through all this. Then you get to see this amazing painting put together at the end of the video. So, and like I said, you guys, when you see this one, I mean, I don't know how many wavy checkers this is going to end up being. I don't know if it's, um, I don't know what I'm going to title the video. Maybe a thousand wavy checkers or maybe it's 2000. It might be 2000 when you see it on nine pages of paper. I don't know. YouTube likes big numbers. Anyway, I don't know. Did you guys get to a chance to see the the world rec record attempt that I did recently? I hope you guys got to watch that. I know some of you did because some of you commented and really enjoyed it. And you said it really inspired you and you loved it. So I appreciate that. You guys know who you are. I love you all. I'm getting to know some of you by name. You know, sometimes I'll hear from you guys and it might be a month or two months till till I hear from you again, but that's okay. So come on in and say hi sometime. I always say, you know, anyway, I was watching this video. I'm back to the this guy who survived this thing, this near-death experience. This is the reason I'm saying this is because he says, one of his new theories since he died and came back was that you should start your day and your first hour of your day should try to be positive energy, positive thoughts, try to stay away from the news. I mean, it's okay to watch the news because you want to keep up to date with what's going on, I think. But um, he said, you know, for the first hour of your day, try to stay positive. And then like the last hour, like when you're going to lay down in bed, that's really important that you go to bed in a positive mood. So if you've had a rough day or something's happened, hopefully you can just find that positivity and and really get some rest because it stays with you. And try to just, he called it earth school, this guy that I was watching who came back to life. He said, earth is like the hardest school. Can you guys believe? imagine that? Or, and I, I believe it. I've had so many ups and downs in my life. I, I don't even know where to start. I don't know about you guys. But it's crazy. But here we are, because we're trying to graduate Earth School. Is You know what? As great, kind, and loving beings to every day become a better person and show great love and compassion to the world, right? Every day, fill your heart with kindness and, and positivity and share it with the world, my friends. I don't know. 
That's what I like to try to start doing more. It's not easy to do, though. Hey, guess what? We're almost done. You guys believe this? Who would think coloring in all these wavy checkers would... It wouldn't take that long. We do have one more color, so we're not... Our time together for the week isn't over yet. And I know you guys don't want it to be over quite yet because it's all, it's all we get for the week, right? So, anyway. So, with this green, I forgot to say, you put the green in here and you leave it, leave the rest of the ball white. Maybe I did say that, but you don't have to color the rest of that in. Unless you want to, you might be able to put some other colors in there and really make this your own. That's what I always uh, like, too. If you guys see something on here and I've done something... Get inspired and change it your own way if you want. But we're on our last color here. It's just yellow. We're going to keep. Now, on the outside, wherever you didn't color yellow before, just put yellow there. You don't leave white. You don't want to leave any white. You want to leave the, because that that's main, mainly for the marker, the wavy checkers marker ball. But we're just, and of course, it's hard not to smear a little black. It's, you, you'll get into it a little bit. So yeah, we're just moving along. We're gonna finish this thing up together and then we are gonna put this most amazing marker painting together on the floor. And like I said, I hope you guys stop the video a couple times, rewind it, see if you can find the hidden things I put in this video because I wanna I wanna make this one fun. Uh, so you guys gotta know I have a pretty good sense of humor. So if you see something in the video that's kind of crazy, just uh, it's just me being fun. All right, we're, we're moving on. We're moving on here. I don't know if you guys ever, uh, I'm inspired by some people. I mean, grown up, what makes me, you guys, of course, Bob Ross. Um, I love it. Such a great person. And Jim Henson, who did uh, all the Muppets and Sesame Street and my favorite movie, Labyrinth. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Labyrinth. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Hope you can check out Labyrinth if you guys get a chance to see it. It's so good. David Bowie is in it, if I said his name right. I love his music. What a great voice he had. That movie was incredible. Those things, let those things, let those great creators fuel your fire. And also go look at artwork. Look, Always, always be looking at artwork, guys, if you're really really interested so you can try to find your own art style but uh that's why i do all these videos so you guys they're all different i listen i love different lately i've just been for my uh i don't know if you guys could see it in my artwork or not i like i love the new co contemporary oh could you hear that thunder wow it's just rolling across the sky uh, the new contemporary um, Asian art, if you get a chance. Um, I love love that. There's some great artists there. I just found a new artist. I think his name is Chris Uphughes. You get a chance to look up Chris Uphughes. I like the, he does some cartoonish stuff and he also does these beautiful flower patterns. I think I'm gonna try to draw something like one of these I saw. Like you guys hear me being inspired by other art. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. So make sure you're look, looking at plenty of art and and putting your own take on it because that's how you find your own style just by keeping it and then putting your own twist on it. So. All right, guys, we are almost done for the day here. We just got a couple more to color in. Look how awesome that is. I love it. So relaxing to do, so relaxing to sit in color. So peaceful. With the rain coming down, I couldn't have had a better day to draw with you guys. So thankful for this and grateful. Well, I hope you are too and you enjoyed this drawing with me today, you guys. Look at that beautiful drawing. Well, I'm getting ready to put this together on the floor. I hope you guys are excited. Next time I see you, you guys are going to be staring into an amazing painting that I hope you guys can try to make for yourself at home. All right, let's check it out. All right, everybody, here is that awesome wavy checkers marker ball that we drew together at the table. Let's put this last piece in place and see how it looks. And I got to tell you, as I'm about to show you this, this is one of the best drawings we've ever done on the channel. It's really cool. All right, 
As always, I appreciate you guys drawing along with me and being here and being a part of this channel. Let's see how it looks. Oh man, that is awesome, you guys. I hope you guys like this one. I hope you get a chance to try it at home. Get your markers and your paper out and try it. And as always, you guys, I hope this art inspires you and you feel creative. Get your art supplies out and draw yourself something beautiful today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.